Yo, Triangle ABC, let's kick it. Calculate and listen. listen. Doubles back with a brand new equation. Bang. Sides of a triangle, they're not right. G, how do you ever find the third side? Z, Pythagoras, stop, yo, he don't know. Triangles are right for his law to show. But if it's not right, yo, we got a scandal. Like when Chappelle always wears his sandal. Dang. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. But only if the triangle is right, now don't be scared. Dang. If it's not right, we'll make an alteration. Pythagoras will find he began the conversation. Take the cosine of the included angle. Bang. Times the two sides, so don't get in a tangle. Bang. Subtract twice that, yo. You've solved it, Pythagorean theorem. We just evolved it. Cosines, baby. The law of cosines, baby. Cosines, baby. The law of cosines, baby. C squared equals A squared Yo, plus B squared. Man. Subtract two times A B cosine C. Now be prepared. Oh, this is the law of cosines. Don't be mistaken. Bacon. I'm cooking up trig like a pound of bacon. bacon. If you know an angle and two included sides, the law of cosines will be your guide. But what is it good for, you may ask? It's not just another pre-calculus task. Like what if two cars drive at angle directions? How far are they apart in any given inspection? Plug your values in the law of cosines. When you it's evaluate, it's so divine. You know Mount Everest was named after a guy who figured out to what extent the mountain was so high. He used a law of cosines and he knew just what to do. And if you're smart like Everest, you'll get something named for you. The law of cosines, it has a brother. It's called the law of signs and it's like no other. You use a law of signs when two angles are unknown, with the two laws together, your mind will be blown. Finding all parts of triangles can be done. Using laws of sides and cosines isn't math yeah. one. And now let me tell you about a Persian dude. Jamshid Akashi was the first to conclude in the Boy. year 1450. Hey, that's before Columbus. He wrote the law of cosines, and now it is among us. Even you could never wrote it down. Akashi, Akashi, he ain't no clown. Well, Since we're talking about Akashi, you will want to see that he found by the 16 decimals of accuracy. The law of cosines, yo, well, Akashi solved it. Pythagorean theorem. He just evolved it. Cosines, baby. The law of cosines, baby. Cosines, baby. The law of cosines, baby. To any mathematician, I'd be a disgrace if I didn't mention the ambiguous case. A favorite to many and a mystery to some. It's a little bit sticky like bubblicious gum. Sides at angle triangles are not unique. Two of them are possible. Now check out this technique. To find the third side for something that's ambiguous, the law of cosines appears to be erroneous. But if you're smart, you'll be ecstatic. Because now you get to solve a quadratic. If your answer's imaginary, there's something you missed. It turns out that your triangle doesn't exist. Most of the time, you'll get two solutions. Two possible third sides? What a revolution. The ambiguous case. Yo, no, we've solved it. Pythagorean theorem. We just evolved it. Cosines, baby. The law of cosines, baby. Cosines, baby. The law of cosines, baby.